You stop, breathe. I promise you everything's going to be okay. Stop stressing so much, girl. I don't even think you'd hear that. Hey, girl. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing? My name is Sophia Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading. Now, Sagittarius, I also do your weekly you versus them tarot reading, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you would like Sagittarius. But when it comes to any of my tarot readings, be sure to rely on your intuition, Saji, because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I promise you, Ari uh, I almost called you Aries, I promise you, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Promise you. And so, if you find some cards that resonate with you, though, Sagittarius, I'd really appreciate it for you to let me know which tarot cards resonate with you in the comments below. Let me know how they do, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments. I guess you're going to need to. Um, and then also, I would appreciate it if you do find some cards that resonate with you, Sagittarius, to uh, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help out my channel a lot, Sagittarius, and I always am super appreciative when you guys take the time, extra time to do that for me. Um, and then finally, Saji, remember that this reading here is just to give you some perspective perspective, right? You know, this is just some tarot cards, right? I'm not here to make a decision in your life because ultimately it's your life to live, not mine. This is just here to give you some food for thought, something for you to consider, a perspective for you to think about as you go throughout your week. So with all that said, let's get into your messages now, Sagittarius, with your general energies. We'll start with your moon oracle cards that came out. I pulled an extra one for you because it just felt proper um and one of them actually is your new moon sagittarius it's the new moon in sagittarius luck is on your side um paired with the disseminating moon take time to breathe out so this is an interesting message sagittarius because off of first reflex you'd be like okay if luck is on your side then this would be the last time this would be the last thing that you'd want to do is take a moment to pause and have a breather right you're just like well no i want to like you know, if things are looking good, let me just continue, have that wheel continue turning, right? But I feel like the luck is on your side, the new moon in you, for you, in you, Sagittarius, is um, more so emphasizing, like, because new moons represent new beginnings, Sagittarius, right? So deep. Um, but I point this out because I feel like you need to just have this reminder because it feels like for a lot of you Sagittarius's, you've been just in a state of needing to just go, go, go and feeling like you need to, uh, I mean, probably even create this luck being on your side, right? Maybe you've been working so hard and that's like what your reaction is. You're just like, Valka, I've been working so hard to get luck on my side. Why would I want to take a moment to breathe out? Well, honey, the sun card did try to come out from the back of the deck for you. Let me explain. I really, especially, I brought up the new moon's new beginnings, not just because of just like a weird flex that I know what new moons represent, right? I pointed out more so, Sagittarius, that I feel like this is like almost a calling to go into a new direction with something. Now, what that new direction is or how much that encompasses in your life, it's up for you to decide, right? Up for you to figure out. You would know it if you know you would know the changes that you want to make in your life. I do get the sense it's more so to deal with um work, um, passion, like passion projects and stuff, not really not really getting like social situations here. I feel like this is just like I feel like I'm just tapping into like a hard working Sagittarius, truly trying to just make things happen, create things. So um, the tarot cards that we have with this is the Four of Swords with the Two of Swords. So I do just get this sense, Sagittarius, so where it's just like you're just needing to make a new approach. You've been in your, you probably, this is probably what it is that you've been looking like for a while, Sagittarius. Non-confrontationally, but confrontationally, you've probably been in your bed, um, in, in your feelings, just really, um, I feel like you've just kind of been in this place, Sagittarius, of uh, not really knowing what, what the next right move is for you. And I feel like that's been like the theme of the question that you've been running through your head for a while now, where perhaps you just are trying to figure out where it is the universe is trying to take you. Not even including the universe, honey. You don't even, like, you're not even thinking that big scheme of things. You're just thinking about the sense of being like, okay, like... What do I need to do to get luck on my side? What do I need to do to have things finally just start working out for me, right? I see you with this Four of Swords, where it's just like you've taken the time of self-reflection. You've taken this time to uh, truly have discussions with yourself, truly figure out being like, 
um, trying to, I don't know. I just see, I see a Sagittarius just really just going through their notes constantly, just trying to figure out what, what it is that they might be doing wrong. And truly with this two of swords here, I do get this sense of just being a little bit too guarded, a little bit too critical of people, maybe a little bit too dismissive or where it is you'll just turn the other side when something comes up, uh, approaches you and challenges your point of view or challenges your perspective, even in this reading, right? When you saw that take time to breathe out, maybe a lot of you guys are just like, mm, no, trying to dismiss it. But I feel like the best thing that you can do for yourself right now, Sagittarius, is to really, I just get this sense, Sagittarius, I feel like start anew. And I, I don't know if you just need to start anew with somebody else or what's going on here. I don't know if you need to just start new with like a project. I just get this sense of like starting fresh with something, but not starting fresh with like, how do I put it? Like you're starting fresh with something that's already there. Does that make sense, Sagittarius? So like whether it's like a fresh start with the person that's been in your life or a fresh start, like a new approach to a project, I just feel like, I just get new, 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 like just go, just having like a new approach, a new mindset when it comes to this. Um, Ace of Cups, opening up, opening yourself up, right? Um, truly is such a beautiful card to have to close off that general messages, those general messages. But yeah, with that Ace of Cups, Sagittarius, this is a push for you to just start opening yourself up more, consider different possibilities more, um, and look at the people in your life, look at things in your life that are seemingly escaping you or if they you feel like they've already escaped you see if you can see what aspects you could like see and this is i'm trying to like tread lightly here sagittarius just see because i'm not telling you to just bring back everything from the old right but i do see like whatever you'd like there's some things that you probably like turned a blind eye to that was actually really valuable to you that was actually like be of um, assistance in your path. And I think you need to take that time to just stop and to just breathe and to just think things through a little bit and to stop feeling like you need to just keep go, go, going and reflect on where it is that you've been and see what it is that you might have missed. Because I do get the sense of where you might have missed something. I keep being shown the moon card um, in my head. So Sagittarius, now we're going to be getting into um, the rows now. So we're beginning into a row for um your career and your finances from my Sagittarius that are into interested in finances and then we will be going into your social situations and then after that you know like that voice crack and then after that Sagittarius we'll get into just some general final thoughts messages so Sagittarius I pulled these cards already I just pulled them rather you remember what I was just saying I was being shown the moon card and lo and behold that's what showed up for you <laughs> I do just feel like um, something on your path that you ended up just missing. Um, something that you weren't considering. Maybe it's because it was like going in the shadows or what have you, right? Maybe you just weren't aware of it, right? Don't be too hard on yourself for missing something. But I do, I do get this strong pulling Sagittarius and the fact that I was being seeing that uh, moon card. This is where I wish the camera, I could get the um, me shuffling the cards as well. So y'all would just get the extra affirmation knowing it and just pull it out. But um, I guess it don't matter. But I really just get this confirmation that there's just reflecting on like what's been in your path and like what it is that you could bring forward into your path now, right? Be okay with saying like you made a mistake, right? Eight of Swords comes in with the Six of Swords. The Queen of Swords came flying out as well. Three sword energies, Sagittarius. So you probably already have an idea of what I'm talking about, honey. Um, <laughs> you probably already have been in your head, probably been in your feelings about like a missed opportunity. Is something that I'm getting, Sagittarius, right? The Eight of Swords and the Six of Swords lets me know of where it's just like, perhaps maybe wrong, like, it was like the right opportunity, but the wrong timing. You weren't aware of it. You just saw, you saw it like because it was the wrong timing, um, you didn't see the opportunity, the proper opportunity um, with somebody, right? Because I do feel like even though this is in, in regards to your career, I do feel like there's some type of other person involved that would be able to um, 
assist you. That could have been part of your path in some type of way, Sagittarius, in regards to your finances. Um, take that as you will. But I feel like Queen of Swords was the energy that you were holding uh, at the time, right? This is where it's like the wrong timing, because maybe at that point, you're a little bit distrustful. Maybe at that point, your guard was a little bit too up at that time. And you didn't really want to open up to anybody. You didn't want to open up to new energies. And so you're just really on guard um, and blocked a lot of things out. Right, but in the long run, this is kind of counterintuitive to what it is that you want truly because of this four of swords. Because you're in your feelings about it later on, and like at night, you're just like, Oh man, like you beat yourself up, you beat yourself up after the fact, Sagittarius. So it leads me to think that maybe you allow your emotions to like override um, logic sometimes, and that's probably how you kind of ended up overlooking it because it's just like emotions were high at the time for you, just personally dealing with maybe just chaos in your life and from that uh you ended up overlooking something or someone um and you just were just too you're this, it was at a point where you're just like no i don't want new things you're not ready for it you weren't ready for it at the time but i feel like you're ready for it now um i don't feel drawn to pull clarifiers for this actually funnily enough Sagittarius. so we'll just get into your um we'll get into my Sagittarius's social situations now because I mean, I guess we kind of, it seems like we already tapped into it on some level in your career, Saji, but we'll see. <laughs> Four cards came out for you guys as well. You got you guys, Sagittarius. I mean, obviously I didn't pull some clarifiers for y'all, so um, I guess you're not getting the most cards out of any reading, but you guys are getting like the most extra cards <laughs> from like the base uh, rows that I do. It's just interesting to me. So, social, social, social situations now for you, my Sagittarius. We have the Ten of Swords coming in, Seven of Wands coming in, Queen of Cups coming in, as well as the Ten of Cups. Oh, honey. Oh, Sagittarius. Honey, honey, honey. So, yeah, this is what I was saying. I feel like this is kind of like bleeding into from the last row, almost, Sagittarius, of where it's just like, you are on guard. You really just were at this place of where, like, this was you, or where you felt like the world or just people were out to get you. You, I don't want to even say, like, you felt like anything in specific was out to get you, but it was more so just like this sense of where you just have been in this fight or flight mode. And um, when things were just like, there are just certain things that you chose to not fight for and chose to fight or flight from instead. And it was like, it was almost like you just had, there was like somebody, it seems Sagittarius, that you had a little bit more of a harsher view of um, or that you weren't really opening yourself up to for whatever reason, right? I, I don't want to speak too boldly on this, but I do get this sense of where it's just like, there was some type of energy where you kind of just responded in a way where you felt like you were being attacked rather than trying to like elevate the connection that you have with them further. And then we have the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Now this is the interesting part, Sagittarius, because it's like, it's almost like there's some per someone in your life that really would have complimented you really well. Um, that really would have just added a lot of fulfillment in your life. And it could, it could be separate, entirely separate from your career right but this gets you in this state and i really want to put uh, this person this persons gets you in this state of where you are completely happy like ten of cups that's like that complete fulfillment right what is this card that came out uh the death card coming in here as well yeah i just feel like something just kind of like unlocks in you sagittarius when it comes to this person um, maybe it is just through self-reflection, but let's see. We got some interesting cards here. So let's look at this more. <sighs> honey, Sagittarius promise me, like, stick with me, honey. Get through these next few minutes. Don't be, don't allow these cards to scare you off because I promise you, promise you it's not as bad as it looks. Let me just show you these cards so I don't make you so anxious, Saji. <laughs> Um, for the clarifier we have for your Ten of Swords, the Death card. You know, this makes sense, though. I know this seems spooky, um, just because, I mean, anytime the Death card comes in, you're just like, what the heck? Especially when it's social situations. But with this Ten of Swords, um, it also is talking about the closure recycle. So I do, I see this more so as, like, the ending of a phase of, like, the harsh view that you had of someone, right? I just keep getting the sense of where it's just, like, either you had a harsh view of them, 
or there's just like it doesn't maybe it doesn't it's not even harsh but it's just like conflicting thoughts with them like maybe you didn't know how to what to make of them Sagittarius right seven of wands the clarifier that came out was the five of wands the conflict card you probably just didn't know what to make of them and because you didn't know how to figure them out or maybe um they were showing signs of something from the past someone that you used to connect with Sagittarius and maybe that like triggered your fight or flight and then you're just like oh look, this person is just the same and you just didn't give this person a chance um of just opening up to them right because you just didn't want to deal with that disappointment you didn't want to deal with the conflict because maybe someone in the past just caused a lot of conflict for you but I see you seeing things from a different perspective when it comes to this person I see you kind of realizing <sighs> I see you kind of realizing the mistake that you made, right? I'm not, I was going to like try to sugarcoat it and not say mistake, but I would be willing to bet Sagittarius that even you would be willing to admit that there's some type of mistake in this connection. And it doesn't have to, I mean, obviously I'm talking to you right now, Sagittarius, but it takes two people to tango, right? Um, and this is like not a you versus them reading, so I can't figure out like what's going on with them, Sagittarius, but I do get this sense of where it's just like, you're seeing, at least on your side, Saji, you're seeing them from a different perspective. And I see you kind of starting to take action, starting to like warm up to them a little bit more. Um, and then we have the Queen of Cups coming in with the Ten of Wands. So you just had a lot of baggage that was stopping you, Sagittarius. You just had a lot of stuff weighing you down, which is what I was suspecting, what I was kind of hinting at from before, where you just had a lot of other distractions and you just didn't have the time or the energy or... Maybe you're just even a little bit too scared or insecure, right? You might step on some toes with that um, to open up to this connection at that time. But I feel like you're ready now. I feel like you're ready. And if you're ready for that Sagittarius, why not take action on it? Why not have that Ace of Wands moment with them, right? Um, but let's just get into some final thoughts, final messages that we can get for my Sagi cards flying out the sun card i thought i want to remind you i forgot didn't i pull the sun card for you already or is the back of the deck um for your soul, uh, work situation i ended up playing four cards for you again <laughs> i honestly want to say sagittarius write down number four for numerology um because four has been popping out a bunch for you this entire time four cards in each row and un unintentionally because i like to do i like to do threes sagittarius threes is my three is my favorite number so that's why i always do threes for everything so, so i'm not intentionally doing four cards for each one y'all are just i guess needing four cards but uh yeah let's look at this seven of cups decision needing to be made right i do feel like you're tossing your head back and forth it being like perhaps being like uh, is it worth the extra effort of like going back um to the drawing board or going back and trying to like bring this person back into your life in some type of way right but you have to be careful the one thing i want to point out sagittarius is like when you're considering this decision do not con do not treat your insecurities as a fact do not treat your insecurities as something to really even consider in this connection because insecurities are there to not treat as a personality trait for you they're there for you to like overcome and to work through right so don't make your decisions that are going to affect your life in the long run based off of an insecurity that you hopefully at some point would overcome right because things are going to work out with this person the sun card so this i guess what i'm trying to say is in regards to making your decision sagittarius don't make a decision based off of thinking if you think it would work out or not make the decision based off of like what do you want do you want this happiness with this person? Do you want to make it work with this person? Because I do see it working out. Truly, it may be rough at the beginning phases of it, right, Sagittarius? Like, we, um, remind you, this is life, honey. <laughs> like, things just don't get placed in front of you. But um, I see you, should you put in the work, High Priestess card, King of Swords, should you put in the work, listen to your intuition, you know communicate properly right make sure keep the emotions in check right if you do have a conversation with them don't be like don't be like you 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 right just be like how can we work through this and like continue on in for the future right i get this sense of where it's just like if you were to approach this person sagittarius like don't talk about the past just talk about like the future and being like hey like I've gone through some, like, you don't even have to give your whole story. You don't have to explain yourself, but you can just be like, hey, I'm ready to just start anew. Can we just start fresh? 
um, and just like go from here. Right. And I feel like you, you would be surprised by how well you, that would be received Sagittarius, but it involves you taking that action. So let me know what decision you end up making for this, in, in this regard, because there's, there's some type of person really plays an important role for you in your life, um, for them to come up entirely in this reading Sagittarius. So, um, yeah, I hope this reading was of resonance in some type of way. Uh, if you find some cards that resonate, if you found some cards that resonated with you, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and then share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my messages. Until next time, Sagittarius, I'll connect with you soon.